Welcome to Techno with me. This video will see advanced RAG chatbot with Streamlit. This is two series video. In last video, we have seen how to build a Streamlit uh, a chatbot. In this video, we'll see the more advanced to retrieve the information from the graph, Lang graph or the Neo4j graph. So build chatbot you have seen in the last video, Neo4j setup you have also seen in the last video. This video will be more Python coding to retrieve the information from hybrid search. So this is the chatbot. In the last video, we have seen how to build this chatbot and upload a document. And then with a, a little bit of a button click, load graph button key, the show the graph will automatically come from Neo4j and it will display in your application. This particular video will be more on the hybrid search. That means you can talk to the graph and you can get the information from the graph. So the hybrid search is like more structured uh, retrieval as well as unstructured retrieval. Through the vector index, we can retrieve the information and through the graph also we can get that information. So let's start with our uh, Python programming. So this is our Python code that is already present. So we'll copy this particular section because this section is all about that bottom uh, chat with document or the chat interface that was present in the UI. So we'll add or the change the variable name over here. Otherwise the session will conflict with that particular uh, simple RAG and this particular chat uh, advanced RAG or Neo4j RAG. So we'll change from to prompt one and then we'll uh, modify. Let's modify it. Change it to chat to chat one and response to response one and messages to messages one. And then what we are going to do, we are going to call the hybrid search. So let's give a name of that particular function, ask question chain. And we are going to pass the prompt one. The prompt one is coming from the chat input, right? So, so this is a, so this is what we have. Yeah. So this is, we are going to ask the question from here. Okay, let's build uh, more methods over here, more functions over here. The very first function will create will create a vector index. With uh, from the existing graph, this method will retrieve the information from the existing graph with certain parameter. The very first parameter, and uh, these are the different. Let's import the vector stores. Import Neo4j vector. Very first parameter is required the embedding model. We are going to use hugging first face embedding model over here. Mainly sentence transformer model we are going to use. So let's give that name. Let's copy from the previous class. And the search type would be hybrid. Hybrid is for structured and unstructured both. So you can retrieve from the graph, you can retrieve from the index also. And text dot properties, you can actually give the relationship. Here I am giving text and then the embedding node property would be embeddings. So uh, vector index has been created. Now uh, let's 
call the or define our ask question that we already called right so let's define that one and we are going to pass the string prompt let's name it query so we'll first call that vector index and then we need a little bit of Python code over here. As and when some explanation is required, I will definitely give you. So, Let's add to system and user. So based on your business logic, you can add your uh, prompt template, obviously. So you're going to retrieve fields and business rules from the e-commerce applications. And from a human perspective, it would be, yeah, use this given format to extract the information from the following input and then the input would be question so this is our prompt chat like chat template and we are going to invoke identity chain with the prompt and the llm so this entities would be a class these entities will define this particular class this one is required to identify information about the entities so what how the entity will be defined so it will be a list of uh, fields and the fields will come from the description from the graph the all the fields and the business rules it will retrieve and then put it in this particular string and that would be our entities and yeah let's import that one from langchain core pydentic import base model I think list is also required. Let's list, yeah. Okay, so our entities are defined. Pro champ, champ, chat template is also defined. Now let's ask, let's define the main component. So main concept of this one that we are going to generate a query, that query will retrieve the information from the graph, okay? So we'll have a retriever uh, function inside that retriever function. So we'll just see the query first, what query is coming. And then this is our structured data. The structured data is the structure we will define a function with a structured retriever let's define a function structured retriever so 
So structure retriever will retrieve the information from the graph. We need some cipher queries over here. So the entity chain that we build, right? So we're going to invoke that particular entity chain with a question and then automatically entities will automatically build and based on that entity, we'll loop it and then we'll will navigate through all the nodes and retrieve all the nodes and then generate the uh, output and then put it in the string. So it would be our structured retriever. So let's run a loop from the entity of those all the entities that LLM retrieved from that particular graph and then we run a query, cipher query. So let's use a query that is already there. So this query will create a full text index from the uh, like, uh, uh, like first what it is actually doing, it is taking the question and then generate a full text query that in the line number 102 you can see a generate full text query the, what that generate full text query is going to do it will take the uh, you know, wh whatever the like responses is coming from the entity chain invoke and then it will remove all the special characters okay and once it removes all the special character and then the cipher query uh, that is from the line number 92, 97, 98, it is there, it will loop or it will run through all the nodes and retrieve all the nodes. And then in line number 104, what we are going to do, we are going to return the output and, the, and then join it and then convert it to string and re return this particular string to our structured retriever function. So this, uh, this particular uh, generic full text query what we are doing, we are removing all the special character. So it will, it will actually construct a query with word one and word two. Right. It will remove the special characters. Let's import that particular library. Okay. Let's go back to our function again. Okay, we need one more. Few runnables actually we need it. Let's import runnable parallel and then runnable pass through. Runnable parallel is required to run multiple uh, like instruction in parallel way. So we'll see in the our retriever area. So generate full text query is already there. Let's define okay generate full text query is there and then what else we required. Okay, so structured data we have retrieved, right? We have retrieved the structured data from the graph through uh, the query, cipher query. And now unstructured data, unstructured data will be retrieved from the vector index. The vector index that we have already created it, uh, previously, the create vector index, that particular function. So from there, we'll do the similarity search from the question and it will retrieve all the like uh, information and then from the page content will run through and then will run a like similarity search on that particular you know, vector index. So that will give us the unstructured data and then final data will be the hybrid because this is hybrid search. So it will be a combination of structured data and the unstructured data. That way we can get a lot of 
accurate and more information in our RAG application. So this is very advanced and lots of things are going on in uh, RAG area. So this is one of the uh, uh, things to definitely learn. So we'll return the final data. So retriever area is done. Next, go to our ask. Uh, and this should be our static method, right? Yeah, let's put it static method. And then go to ask question chain in this uh, function again. Here we are going to define a chain. So this would be runnable parallel. Parallel, what input it will take? It will take the context first. The context is our retriever that we just defined. That would be our context. And the questions will be the our runnable pass-through because we can, yeah, it is coming as a dynamic, right? So let's pass all the thing to our prompt. And then let's define the prompt. We have not defined the prompt, right? So let's define the prompt. So prompt would be, uh, it would be very simple. Answer the question based on, based only on the following context, right? The context is the retriever from the graph as well as from the uh, vector index, right? So that would be our context and the question would be our question. So this is our template. Let's add use a natural language and be concise. Okay, so this is our pro template. Let's define the prompt with the chat prompt template. And this is a prompt template, right? Yeah, let's add template. Okay, so once that retrieve and questions are come, then we can pass it to prompt and then we'll pass it to LLM so that it will be uh, process right with the pipe delimited and then we'll convert it to a string so this chain will invoke this particular chain okay let's fix this one Okay, let's invoke the chain with our query, right? And then we'll re return the result. So let's import our, one of the important do. Yeah, so here we made a little bit of changes because what we have seen like this particular model was returning certain dimension and our Neo4G was returning certain dimension. So what we have done, we have changed the model name and then change it to from existing index. Time. In this class, we have done some changes. The changes is just the return of the variable. So this would be response one. Earlier it was response one answer, but it does not require any list over here. So this is the modification. So let's run the program. Stream it run, and it will launch the UI. Yeah. Now we will not upload any document because upload document will read. Wait, like we need to upload the document, but here we just need to load the document, load the uh, graph, so that is fine. Let's ask the question, who is the father of Elizabeth? So that is our, I know that is present in the graph. So yeah, bingo. We can see the answer is coming from the graph. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like, please subscribe. And for any uh, like upcoming videos, please subscribe. I will upload lots of JNI related videos. Thank you.